Hi students, hope all are fine and safe at your home. In today's class, we are going to discuss how to make the picture attractive in LibreOffice Draw using fill color tool and line color tool. So let us start our today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss how to make the picture attractive in LibreOffice Draw. Okay, so this is our last topic. We have discussed all the topics in the last classes. Okay, so uh, let us look after this topic how to make the picture attractive in LibreOffice Draw. How to make the picture attractive in LibreOffice Draw. So in your textbook, it is given in page number 29, page number 29, activity 3.4, okay, activity 3.4, let us make the picture attractive, okay, so it is nothing but we have to use fill color tool and line color tool, okay. So these are the two tools for making the picture attractive. Okay. So fill color tool and line color tool are the two tools which is used to make the picture attractive. <coughs> okay students. So first you have to draw a shape. First you have to draw a shape. Then you have to use fill color to color the shape and you have to use the line color to color the border ok so I'll, I have written here the steps first you have to draw a shape step 1 ok then step 2 go to the properties window in the sidebar I will show it don't worry use fill color tool first you have to fill fill color tool to color the shape what is the step 4 use line color tool to color the border of the shape to color the border of the shape ok so let us do this in LibreOffice draw so how to open LibreOffice draw Tell me my dear students, yes, go to application at the top left corner, inside graphics, you have to select graphics and take LibreOffice draw. Now you can see here and the sidebar, I have told you the sidebar, okay, I have Show, show you the sidebar go to properties window in the sidebar so where is this sidebar where I can see this sidebar ok so I will show it so it, it will be actually shown in the right side here but it is not shown here in some of the computers it will be automatically shown but it is not shown here ok so where to find that in your menu bar you can see here view can you see here view at the top left corner you can see view click on view and inside here you can see sidebar ok so click on that click on sidebar now can you see here this this one is your sidebar ok now listen my dear students for getting more space for drawing can you see here orientation 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 click on this down arrow down arrow and select landscape landscape so you will get more space to draw 
okay can you see here you can get here more space now I am going to draw a shape here I am going to draw a rectangle so click on rectangle tool at the toolbar and draw a rectangle here now you can see here the properties okay for the shape here at the right side can you see here this one this this is the properties window property window okay at the down you can see shape window okay don't bother about it the first one is your properties in blue color you can see here okay but in your textbook in your textbook you can see this this is the symbol given in your textbook for properties window the symbol given is this one so you study this symbol which is given in your textbook okay for properties window you study this symbol which is given in your textbook okay but in my system in our system it is given the symbol is given like this don't bother about this please study the symbol which is given in your textbook okay this one I am showing here okay this one okay now I have drawn a shape here can you see here under area under area fill fill color this one okay so I can choose a color here click on this down arrow and I am going to choose a yellow color now the color is changed so fill color tool fill color tool is used to give color to the shape okay now at the down can you see here line line all of you please listen you can see here line okay inside this line properties you can see here width you can change the width of the border width of the border so in this down arrow you click any width here I am going to select this six point so now you can see here the border okay also you can change the color of the border color of the border here I am going to choose a purple color how is it yes now it is changed as purple color okay so line color tool is used for two purposes what is the first one to color the connectors which I have which I have already shown you and what is the second purpose to color the border of the shape to color the border of the shape okay my dear students so I'll show once more what is the first step first you have to draw a shape second step in the sidebar you can see properties window use fill color tool to color the shape use line color tool to color the border okay so I'll show once more I'll draw one more shape click on rectangle tool from the toolbar I'm going to draw one more shape here okay now at the right side you can see the sidebar okay if you are not able to see this sidebar what you have to do go to view in the menu bar go to view can you see here view at the top left corner click on that and click on this side bar 
okay now <coughs> i have already told you the first one this one is the properties it is written here in blue color properties the symbol given here is a blue color okay don't bother about this symbol in your textbook you have to study this symbol whatever symbol given in your textbook you have to study that okay for properties window you have to study this symbol okay now for giving color to this shape for giving color to this shape under this area under this area you can see fill color fill color you have to choose a color here click on this down arrow it is already in blue color you can change any other color and give here a red color okay now under this there is a property called a line can you see here line what is the use of this line tool to give color to the border of the shape border of the shape so i am going to increase the line width here can you see here width click on that choose a width now you can see the width of the border is increased width of the border is increased suppose if you want to change the color of the line you can see here color click here and choose any other color whatever you like okay here i am going to choose a green color a lime color now can you see here the border is colored with a light green okay now suppose i am going to use a connector here this is a connector tool click on a straight connector please connect using the glue points so the line color tool can also be used to color the connector so here you can see a line property so here also you can see width and color i am going to increase the width what will happen the width of the connector will increase yes the width of the connector will increase now the color is in black i am going to change this with a, a blue color okay so line color tool can be used to color the connector and also to color the border of the shapes to color the border of the shapes okay so hope all are clear about this topic okay i'm repeating again and again draw a shape go to properties window properties window you study the symbol of the properties window in your textbook okay in your textbook this is the properties window symbol next in the sidebar use fill color tool fill color tool to color the shape i have shown you and use line color tool to color the border of the shape to color the border of the shape okay so that's all about uh, this topic